Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the fourth kit that I built for the National Model Railroad build-off. When I laid the track down and started to finalize some of the placements for the rest of the building kits, I realized I had a small corner that was about seven inches square that I needed something additional there and had been going back and forth about doing a farmhouse or just some more fields, but then remembered I had this old model power service station kit. And once I opened it up, or at least looked at the dimensions on the box, I realized that this would be a perfect fit for that open lo location and decided to build it. As you'll see here in a short bit, I realized that the base was warped way just horrifically and wouldn't really fit in terms of it had like a cobblestone looking piece, something that you really don't see, at least in the area that I'm in, and decided that just to make it simple, I was going to carve out the base for the building itself and that's what I'm doing here right now and then I went through later and carved out the little island piece that the gas pumps sit in and then the little pavilion that goes over it so we'll keep working on this and then be back in just a bit And then sticking with the dilapidated theme that I'm going with, I took some panels of wood that I cut out and stained them with the black and isopropyl alcohol mixture that I have. And then put those up alongside the backside of some of the windows for the interior part of the service station, just to give that look that it's been boarded up. Also, this kit did not come with any glass pieces or plastic that for use of glass. And I ended up utilizing some of the extra glass panes that I had from other kits that I've been building. And ended up using those, breaking them like I have been and putting them in so that there was at least some glass that was there and it didn't look like just a blank hole.
One thing when I was sharing some of the progress with some friends, they mentioned that I should try using some tape to simulate duct tape that had been put over the a crack in the window. And I ended up using some of this blue painter's tape and then painted over it with some gunmetal gray to help simulate some duct tape. Unfortunately, that didn't work out quite as I had hoped it would. And I ended up just painting on the plastic with some of the some of the paint to make it look like it was duct tape. Overall, it wasn't a horrible looking effect, but something that would probably need a little bit more planning than what I had for this. But overall, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look horrible. It just looks like something different on the wall. And then because of the warping of the base, there was still just a little bit there. I ended up taking a couple of rubber bands and really just put them around the model. That way to pull in the walls and get as much of the wall to be butted up against the roof panel.
I then figured that I would also include me airbrushing to weather up this building since I hadn't done that with any of the other kits that I've been building for this. I did this for a couple of reasons. One, as you can see, the white and red are just far too bright for a dilapidated, worn down building that I want it to be. And so to start, I took the orange red that I had and mixed just a little bit of ivory in with it. That way it would match the roof color, but it would also lighten it up so that it's been like sun bleached in a way. So that's what we're working on here. I then took the dirt color that's from Vallejo's train color line and went around the entire building with it to give, a, you know, like a dust storm has been through to just add some dirt to the outside of the building. I then added German camo black brown to the mix to darken it up a little bit, but still have that dirt color mixed in with it. I then cleaned out the airbrush and just used straight German camo black brown to give a you know final darker look that I've been using with the other buildings as well. You know, that kind of grimy dilapidated look. So that is the last that I did with the airbrushing and we'll keep going with that and be back in just a bit.
when I went to put the two models onto the diorama, I realized it was going to be a lot easier to have them glued onto a piece of styrene that I can then also use to weather it up as well. And so that's what I did. I just cut a piece of styrene I had. And then here is the final product. I ended up painting the styrene the gray green color and cutting a hole in for the extra like f filling panel that I had that came with the kit. I then just used some dirt that I had sifted and put that here and there and then used two different colors of foliage and then also used some clump foliage to simulate some bushes and just sprinkled it here and there wherever I thought it would look good on the model. So here it is. This is the last of the gas station and then I start working on the diorama itself. Thanks for watching and we'll see everybody in the next video.